Hey guys, my name is Amir and today we are going to talk about my personal experiences being a tattooed Malay person in Singapore. So a big disclaimer, this has nothing to do with racism or any stereotypes that exist in this world. So these are just my personal goofy experiences on a daily basis ever since I just got my first visible tattoo. Okay, so um, I just got a black and grey lion with a crown and a rose underneath. Um, I know it's a very typical tattoo, but um, I just I just like the way it looks. Lah, so it is what it is. Lah. Okay, so the first one, um, what changed in my life that I don't understand is Pakcik's with tattoos as well as um, like Naughty Boys, my age, as well as like um, generally other tattooed people tend to like strike a conversation with me in the smoking corner. So, um, I don't know what, what this is all about. Um, I don't see people wearing ripped jeans um, randomly strike a conversation with each other or people with pink hair uh, striking a conversation with each other. <laughs> but <laughs> with tattoos, apparently that's how it works. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I really, really appreciate um, these friendly people and um, I'm glad like um, through this... Uh, this tattoo thing, I get to meet new people even though um, honestly we don't really like exchange Instagram or like see each other ever again. But um, you see, I'm an introvert and I think um, like conversations like this with random strangers, I think it really open up my eyes and I feel like, you know, it's really nice to like break out of your comfort zone um, and this um, experiences really, really allows me to explore this boundary of mine that I want to push. Okay, moving on to the next part. Do you know that if you have a tattoo, people expect you to come out from the lift first? Okay, so this was strange. Um, the first few days after my tattoo healed and then I went out um, just like short sleeve, right? And then I realized every time I want to exit the lift i always have to like play this waiting game with the guy beside me it's like you want to go first or i go first you want to go first or i go first okay so um me personally right my um usual style is i like to let people come out first and then i will go out because um from years of playing drums and percussion i developed this like claustrophobia um, from like squeezing into a tiny space and sitting in a small tight area with a lot of big drums around, you know. So um, I like to let people come out first because that makes me like easier, you know. I just feel easier and it just feels more spacious. So um, ever since I have my first tat uh, visible tattoo, then I realize, um, okay, this has to change. So the moment the lift open, doo -doo 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 boom, then I'll be out there. Um, out of respect lah, okay? So, because I don't like to make people wait, right? It's not nice. Actually, speaking of lifts, um, there's this one encounter that um, I think is quite hilarious, lah, okay? So, um, where I'm working at, um, there's a lot of like enrichment centers around where there's like little kids. So, um, I took the lift at level 4. The whole building is like 7th floor. Um, so, there's a couple in their 30s. Um, holding on to a toddler with another couple holding on to another toddler. I think the toddlers are like friends or something. Lah. So come to fourth floor, the lift door open, I come in. And then the toddlers was like, Papa, I'm really scared of this uncle. I didn't do anything, you know. Like, okay, I wear like uh, ripped jeans and I have um, my tattoo uncovered. Um, I have like my hair done, you know. I didn't even say anything. I didn't even look at them. So, um, it was awkward. Luckily, we only have like four floors to survive, right? So, um, the parent was just like laughing. Then I was just like laughing, you know. Um, we all like don't know what to do with it. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's a very cute situation. Uh. Um, but it's like, imagine like you are the parent, right? You know you did not do anything wrong. So, for you to say sorry, it's not uh, logical and it's a bit silly. Um... But at the same time, like, uh, I know that they teach them something about tattooed people, which um, I don't know, lah, but, um, you know, there's that's, that's no judgment, lah, but um, I'm sure they said something not really nice. 
and that's what uh, makes all the like these toddlers say something like that in public. So, um, but I'm really okay. I understand different people have different way of bringing up their children, and I totally respect that. However, um, what rubs salt to the wound of um, awkwardness is the kid say it one more time. Papa, I'm really scared of this uncle. Then <laughs> it's like the whole situation is like is really really awkward already, you know. Uh, then the the papa was like, "Why, why you so scary cat?" Then I'm like, "Come on, bro! Like you have, <laughs> you can do a better cover line, lah. Okay, um, or you can strike a conversation with me. Like, ah, sorry, lah. You know, this these are just kids, and I would probably." Engage in a conversation and like try to make you laugh or something, or maybe have like a fun conversation with you, um, and just like uh, relate and we just like have a small chit chat, you know. <laughs> but instead, this guy just say, "Why are you scary cat?" Ah? and then I, me being a nice guy, I want to continue this conversation because it's really awkward and I don't like making people feel awkward, you know. But why are you scary cat? Ah? I just like don't know how to how to how to dribble from there, you know? So I just like <laughs> and then luckily the door opened and I just like dash out and then they also dash out in a different direction and then we just do our own thing and I don't think I see them again. Okay, another thing that I don't understand, right? Is people will pass by you and they will look at you from their periphery view, from their side view. So they will suddenly be so engrossed in the on the f on the design of the ground or they are suddenly engrossed at the MRT map what comes after this uh, orchard and what comes after uh, whatever boogies right um come on like if you are going to act make it good like you know <laughs> not act and not act so poorly that you're acting for me, but I know that you are acting for me. You know, it just... You might as well just just look at my tattoo, you know. Uh, I make a tattoo to be seen. Uh, and I like attention anyway. So one hypothesis I have from this um, finding, from this um, human behavior that I realize is... Maybe like, oh, tattoo gangster, don't stare. Okay, guys, look at my face. Uh. I put how many tattoos... So I have a nice guy face. I am. I have a good boy face, and I am really a good boy. Um, who loves attention more than um a lot of people. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's that's all the distinction between uh, me and other nice guys. Um, any other uh good boys. Okay, so um, I I don't know why. Why would people like um avoid eye contact? Um, so if you know, do let me know in the comment section down below why and maybe we can have a discussion, a fun discussion about it. Okay, so honestly, there's a lot more um, human behaviors um, that I find is silly that I encounter on a daily basis, but um, I, it just doesn't come into my mind right now. So if you want a part two, do let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do it just for you. Okay, of course, don't forget to subscribe and do let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, like this video if you like. Um, what else? Um, and also, um, you know, do let me know if you have tattoos and um, any behaviors that you think is like funny and you just don't understand and maybe we can have a community discussion or something right um i know that my subscriber is um at lesser than 100 so that might not happen but um just in case uh, just in case for for some reason uh, we have a lot of um traction for this video and then uh, there's like one whole community of angkong xiao or whatever right want to uh, talk um discuss this kind of issue or something like i don't know lah okay um do let me know in the comment section down below uh and i will reply to you guys okay so till then stay safe in this pandemic um era or should i say uh endemic okay um really stay safe if you haven't get vaccinated please get vaccinated um you'll protect a lot of lives around you and the people you love. Okay, so um, till we meet again. Ciao!